Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia and I make videos about anthropology every single Monday. But today, guys, I am gonna be trying to convince you not to major in anthropology. Now I know that I talk about the good things all the time, but the last thing that I want this channel to be is something that romanticizes anthropology when in reality, it's definitely not the major for everyone. So I'm gonna throw a huge list of cons and reasons that I don't think you should pursue this major. And then if by the end you're still interested, then this could be the one for you. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So first things first, this is the one that everybody wants to know, finance. How much money can you really make as an anthropology major out in the world with a degree in anthropology? And I hate to tell you guys that the US national average might not be where you want it to be. So on average, graduates with a degree in anthropology in the United States make about $46,000 per year, which in some parts of the US and other parts of the world is a perfectly livable salary. But for your career, maybe that's not exactly where you'd want it to be for the long term. Also, I think it's important to note that the top 10%, only 10%, are making around $80,000 per year. So to make even more than that, like a six figure salary, that is a very, very small percent of anthropology graduates. Now let's say that you take courses in anthropology and you decide that you wanna become an anthropologist. Financially speaking, in the United States on average, anthropologists make about $61,000 per year, which again is higher than the average salary for anthropology graduates, but it's still not necessarily where I think a lot of people might want their long-term salary to be. And remember, this is after four years of an undergraduate education and then five to eight years of a PhD education. So you're not even starting to make $61,000 on average per year until literally like 12 years after college. Okay, so enough about finances. If you made it through that and you're still interested, you're already on a good track. Um, so the next thing that we're gonna be talking about is travel. Now, a lot of people hear travel and they're like, oh my gosh, I get to vacation. I get to see so much of the world as an anthropology graduate or anthropologist. No. Guys, this is not vacation travel. If you decide to pursue a career that is more classically anthropologist, anthropology related, it's very likely or possible that you're gonna be going to different regions of the world where maybe the climate will have some extreme conditions. You might not have access to the same kinds of food and resources that you had access be to before back home. And you're leaving your friends and your family for potentially months and honestly, likely years. So are you really okay with being away from the people that matter to you for that long? Are you really okay with saying goodbye to everything that you have on your day to day just to pursue a career in anthropology? Now again, this is assuming that you do pursue a career as an anthropologist or something within this field of anthropology, but even with an anthropology degree, there's a lot of jobs that you can do that require travel. Now just remember that travel is not just luxury and fun. There's a lot of challenges that come with that and you need to be reflective and make sure that that's something that you're actually willing to do. Now, if you have not already liked and subscribed, definitely do that because I talk about anthropology every week and it's usually the good stuff. So if you're interested in that, definitely like and subscribe, but back to the video. The next category, is job preparation. The anthropology major does not prepare you in any way for pursuing a career out there in the real world. I will say that most majors don't do a good job of this. I would generally argue that this is an issue of the education system, not necessarily anthropology, but I think it is unlikely uh, and uncommon for college universities to have an extreme focus on preparing students for the job market. So you're gonna be learning a lot of methodology, a lot of history, but unless you seek out opportunities like internships, summer jobs, to build your resume, it's kind of all on you. Basically my point is just having an anthropology major on your resume is not gonna be enough to easily get you a job. You need to get out there in the world and build your resume on your own too. Okay, so this next little category is explicitly focused on if you have an undergraduate degree in anthropology and then you go outside 
into the real world and you become an anthropologist. So if you're not planning on becoming an anthropologist, feel free to skip this one. Um, but I think this is a pretty interesting little tidbit. So first of all, if you decide to become an anthropologist, it is after many long and arduous and stressful years of learning. Like I said at the beginning of this video, five to eight years of just the PhD, right? That's a long time to commit to moving somewhere and studying one hyper-specific topic for years. But let's say you get through all that, your four years of undergrad and your five to eight years of PhD, and you are still living a blissful, happy life in the world of anthropology. Well, do you want to have to move literally anywhere in the world for a job? Yes, the market, the job market for anthropology jobs, incredibly difficult. There are many qualified people out there who want a job as an anthropologist, either doing research or teaching at a university. And if something opens up in the middle of nowhere and that's the job you get, you have got to go there. A lot of people would like their fair choice of Los Angeles, New York, a cute small town. But if you pursue this career, that's not how it works. You have to follow the resources. If there's a university somewhere that you don't want to live, but they have the resources for you, sorry, bud, that's where you're going. So if following the job isn't something that you'd want to do as an anthropologist, maybe don't become an anthropologist or someone who like teaches at a university because that is something that you probably will have to do. Now we're back to the points that apply to everybody. And number six is an interesting one. And it's something that I've definitely experienced before as an anthropology major and graduate. And that is that nobody understands you. Your friends likely don't know what anthropology is. Your family likely doesn't know what anthropology is. And anyone you meet on the street that asks, what do you do or what did you study? When you say anthropology, chances are they're not gonna know what that is either. And honestly, that can be really isolating. I find it very odd that when I tell people what I studied, they have no idea what I'm talking about. If I just said math, they'd probably give me a thumbs up and keep walking. But no, anthropology, no one's gonna get it. People don't really understand what you're doing. And like I said, that can be really isolating and really frustrating. So, so this is something that a lot of people can easily get over, but if that's something that's really gonna bother you, maybe this isn't the path for you. Okay guys, how did I do convincing you not to major in anthropology? I honestly bet that I probably got some of you guys. Um, I clearly love anthropology. I think it's wonderful. I have so many videos on the good stuff, so go check those out. Um, but today I just wanted to make sure that I'm not leaning, leading anybody on because there's definitely a lot about this career path that isn't the best fit for everybody. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want another part two. This one felt kind of like a skit. Like I felt like I was kind of putting on a show saying, hey, don't study this. Um, but if you lasted all the way through the video, tell me what still sticks out to you about anthropology. All right, I will see everybody next week. All right, you guys.